Imagine this. You've spent all morning watching Scooter 911 videos, and now you're late for work. You hop on your trusty Scoot and hit the engine start button, but nothing happens. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to troubleshoot your electric start system using this Kimco People 150. But almost every scooter equipped with an electric start uses an identical system, which means you can use this video to troubleshoot almost any scooter, unless it's a Honda Ruckus or a Honda Metropolitan. But if you're stuck on the side of the road and you need a quick way to manually operate your electric starting motor, skip ahead to... Now before we get any further, we need to take a minute to talk about how your scooter's electric starting system works. Now this is a wiring diagram for your scooter's electric start circuit. Let's start in the middle of the circuit with the starter relay. Now the starter relay is essentially an electric switch. Inside there's a coil of wire, and when current passes through this coil of wire it creates an electromagnet. Now the coil inside the starter relay needs a 12 volt power supply and a suitable ground to energize. The 12 volt power is supplied by the brake light circuit and is controlled by the brake switch. This is why you need to hold a brake lever in order to engage the starter motor. Now the ground side is controlled by the engine start button itself. When this coil energizes it creates an electromagnet and it mechanically connects these two terminals. This allows power to flow directly from the battery to the starter motor. And now that you know how your engine start system operates, you can diagnose it by breaking it into its individual components. Now before you go pulling panels off all willy-nilly, we need to make sure that your battery isn't dead. You can do this by testing it with a multimeter or by honking your horn and looking for signs of power on your scooter's dashboard. If your battery is dead and you want to know why, check out my charging system diagnostic video here. Now before I waste anyone's time with inapplicable diagnostic techniques, I'd like to weed out anyone who doesn't actually have an electric start problem. Are you holding one of the brake levers while pressing the engine start button? I know it sounds stupid, but we all miss small things like that, especially when we're panicking. Does your brake light illuminate when you hold the brake lever? If your brake light does not illuminate, you most likely have a brake switch problem that you're going to need to solve before going any further. However, if you'd like to manually test the starter motor, you can skip ahead to... When you hold the brake lever and hit the engine start button, does the starter give you a rrrrrrrr labored sort of sound? If it does, you either have a weak battery or a bad engine ground. In my experience, I've never come across a scooter starter motor that became too weak to crank the engine. Usually when a starter fails, they fail completely all at once. If your scooter is making this sound, your electric start system is working just fine. You have a different problem. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can start testing components. Now the easiest way to test electrical components is with a test light, like this. Now a test light will illuminate when power flows from the tip to the lead. To use it, attach the lead to a suitable ground. Now you can probe components with the tip. If it lights up, you've got power at that point. We're going to begin with the starter relay. I like beginning here because the starter relay is like a nexus of all the starting commands and functions. The starter relay is typically mounted underneath the seat and it's easily identifiable by two heavy gauge wires connected to two external top posts. The starter relay will also have two smaller gauge wires that lead to a two pin plastic connector. One of the heavy gauge wires connected to the starter relay will lead down to the positive battery terminal. The other heavy gauge wire will lead directly to the starter motor. Make sure that the nuts that fasten these wires to the starter relay are secure and tight. Connect the lead of your test light to a suitable ground. 
Now, probe the top post of the starter relay that's connected to the positive battery terminal. The test light should illuminate, indicating you have a good connection to the positive battery terminal. Next, probe the other post on top of your starter relay. Hold the brake lever and hit the engine start button. If the test light illuminates, that means that your starter relay is working properly and it's very likely that you have a defective starter motor. But before you go spending money on a new starter motor, make sure that your battery is fully charged and make sure that the connections between the starter relay and the starter motor are clean and tight. You should also double check and make sure you're not missing any chassis or engine grounds. If the test light does not illuminate, keep watching this video. We now need to make sure the starter relay is getting everything it needs to operate properly. Disconnect the two pin wire connector from the starter relay. These are the two wires that supply the 12 volt power and the ground needed to energize the coil inside the starter relay. Make sure your test lead is connected to the negative battery terminal and probe the harness side of this connector. One of these pins should illuminate the test light when you hold the brake lever. If neither pin illuminates your test light when you squeeze the brake lever, you likely have a broken wire somewhere between the brake light circuit and the starter relay. Now, switch the lead of your test light from the negative battery terminal to the positive battery terminal. Your test light is now going to illuminate when you probe a suitable ground. Probe the other pin on the harness side of your two pin connector. Does the test light illuminate when you press the engine start button? If the test light does not illuminate when you press the engine start button, you either have a faulty starter switch or you have a broken wire somewhere between the starter switch and the starter relay. If the test light does illuminate when you press the engine start button, it means that the starter relay is getting a suitable ground. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm going to assume your starter relay is getting the proper signal from both the brake light circuit and the engine start button. This would lead us to believe that the starter relay itself is faulty and needs to be replaced. If you'd like to test the starter motor manually, you can do that by bypassing the starter relay. And to learn how to do that, keep watching this video. If you're stuck on the side of the road, want to manually test your starter motor, or you're just looking for a good way to impress your neighbors, here's how you do it by bypassing the starter relay. What you're going to need is a solid piece of conductive metal. Now this can be a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, or even a trusty butter knife. Though, I really prefer a uh, pair of needle nose pliers. Turn your key to the on position. Now, touch your metal piece to both starter relay terminals simultaneously. Essentially what you'll be doing is bypassing the starter relay you'll be connecting the positive battery cable directly to the starter motor. If it lands you a hot date, tell them who sent you. Well, I hope this video helped you get things started. If this video helped you out, or if you have suggestions for future episodes of Scooter 911, relay the message to me in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I create these videos to empower people to take repairs into their own hands. Remember, there's nothing to be afraid of. A scooter is just a bucket of bolts, and the people who work on them aren't smarter than you. So until next time, keep it shiny side up. Charging system diagnostics video. Diagnostic video. <laughs> you can see my prop. This would lead us to have a car drive by. Are you holding one of the brake levers? One or the brake lever? If your test light illuminates, there's a plane going by. You see that? Mine was illuminating and the plane was going by. <laughs>